Gingerbread Miracle is one of Hallmark's Christmas films from 2021. This is directed by Michael M. Scott with a teleplay by Tracy Andrine and story by Emma Claire Martin and John Benjamin Martin. And I did enjoy this, but I didn't feel like it was anything unique. When you watch hundreds of Hallmark films, I think it's understandable to expect some to be just relatively enjoyable and nothing particularly fascinating. There are some Hallmark films that I think are creative and innovative, but a lot of them are very cookie cutter. And that's definitely what we get with Gingerbread Miracle. And with Hallmark, that's kind of what I enjoy. It's safe, it's comforting, you know what to expect. And when it delivers it, it's quite satisfying. And this focuses on a character called Maya, played by Merritt Patterson, who is trying to sell this bakery on behalf of somebody else. And it's a bakery that she you know, grew up with. She worked there when she was a teenager. She has very fond memories of it, so she has a bit of an emotional connection to it. And Hallmark and bakeries go so well together, particularly in their Christmas films. Obviously, given the title, Gingerbread Miracle, there's a lot of gingerbread in this. And it does make me hungry for gingerbread and icing and sugar cookies. And Hallmark films are very good at doing that. So my advice is to not watch this on an empty stomach. The gingerbread cookies are actually very interesting because there's a, a, a legend, or maybe legend's too strong a word, but there's this tradition, I guess, at the bakery where if somebody bakes a, one of the gingerbread cookies specifically for you, you get to make a wish on it. And we get to see these wishes potentially coming true, not in any kind of supernatural way. There are Hallmark Christmas films that have a more magical element, but in a much more realistic, believable way, which is something that I found to be really interesting because it looks at the power of the wish and making things happen for yourself. And it's not too in your face, but you can definitely read that into it. And it wouldn't be a Hallmark film without a romantic love interest. And here we have Alex, played by John Michael Ecker. As a protagonist, I thought he was very likeable. Sometimes the romantic love interests can be a little bit annoying. And usually our protagonist has to take them on a character journey and then they have a change of heart, they fall in love with the main protagonist, etc. But this is actually an old flame from Maya's past, which is another recurring theme with Hallmark films. Will they realise they're destined to be together or will they end up going their separate ways? I'm not going to say what happens, but you look at any Hallmark blueprint, you might be able to work it out. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the gingerbread angle. It's not as good as some. There are some Christmas films that focus on gingerbread. One of my favourites is actually a Lifetime film and I can't remember the name of it but it's all about making a giant gingerbread house and that is how you display gingerbread in a Christmas film. But it's still delicious. I enjoyed it enough. It's warm, it's fuzzy, it's sweet. As I said, it may not be anything particularly innovative or inventive but it fits the blueprint for Hallmark well and when I'm in the mood for a Hallmark film that's kind of what I'm looking for. So that's kind of appreciated actually and I really like that. Not many studios can get away with churning out the same content again and again and still keeping the viewers and the fan base happy but Hallmark exceeds with that. That's kind of Hallmark's bread and butter or gingerbread cookie. Really enjoyed it. Not my favourite Hallmark film by any stretch but it's definitely one that I would say is worth watching.